Hi guys and welcome back to another Let's Build episode. So last time we built up the glass makers and the glass blowers in the city of Lordsport. And in this episode we're going to continue on with some more industry as we build up the city. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you're new to this series and you want to get yourself caught up, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a full playlist that you guys can go and check out. Anyway, let's get into some building. Alright then guys, so some of the feedback that I had from you last time is to kind of build more open spaces because of course there is going to be a lot of heat. And uh, it just happens that in the UK at the minute we have got a bit of a heat wave. Uh, and in my office it's about 30 degrees, which is not normal at all for being in the UK. Um, so actually, I can really feel this now. Um, so what I'm going to be doing right here is actually building a brickworks. So uh, normally this could be, you know, outside of town and then they could bring the bricks in uh, where the natural clay is. But I wanted to build something in here so we've actually got a local brickworks. Um, so we've got some water in a kind of tank there. They'll be able to take that from the aqueduct. It's not piped to this part of the city. And then they're going to be making those bricks, leaving them to dry out in the sun on some sand. And then they're going to be using those bricks to kind of fire them by stacking them up and then firing them on that kind of sandy part of it. One of the other things I wanted to build is we needed some houses just to kind of transition because otherwise you just get this sudden line between the glass blowers and the glass makers and then straight into this kind of open or more open area. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to build is a cooperage or a cooper. Uh, so a cooper would make barrels, uh, so they were kind of like master woods woodsmen really. They'd be able to actually um, curve the curve the wood. Um, and all that kind of stuff. Actually later in the period as well they would use metal but they would actually use uh, wooden loops which is kind of its own specialty but they'd make everything from barrels to buckets to uh, the kind of butter churners and baths and things like that. So we've got a nice house in there. Now down on the lower part this is actually where we get less sun so you know I could have actually made the brickworks here but um, when I was looking at it, the sun actually wouldn't have worked, which I know sounds really strange thinking about the sun in Minecraft um, as actually being able to dry something properly because the walls are too big. Um, so instead what I did is I actually made some kilns here, so we've actually got a pottery going on. So we've got two of these quite large kilns, we've got them kind of slightly into the ground where they actually get fired. And then I wanted to make some, um, some wheels for this, some pottery wheels for this. So this is the best design that I could come up with using the new mahogany because uh, it looks a little bit rounded. And I've actually also got grindstones, although they're going in the wrong direction, but, uh, you know, still, I quite like the idea of that anyway. Um, and then on the side here, we've got a little bit of a path that goes down into that pottery area, and I wanted to build a warehouse. You're going to need loads and loads of warehouses around for the raw materials and raw supplies. Um, now, this one, because it's on the two levels as well, we've got the upper level, and then we're going to have the lower level which is accessible from uh, where the pottery area is. And I wanted to try something a little bit different with this one. I went with a stone roof uh, and then mixed in some andesite and I also went with birch. So I really did go for something just different. I'm trying to mix and match things in with this so that it looks different than the rest of the city. And then we got this nice area at the back as well and I was like, actually, this would make a lot of sense just to expand the pottery. Let's just have that even bigger. Let's build another kiln in there. Let's have this as more of like a storage area type thing and have a couple little buildings around here. So in this case we've got the clay that needs to be brought in um, and then we've also got just this little hut there which they could then store more in there. So here we go guys, here is the brickworks. I've called it in the brick of time to go with the rest of the pun names that we've got going on in Lordsport. As you can see there I've been trying to use the mud bricks to show those kind of ones that are drying, a little bit of granite as well if they're kind of cracking um, and then actually as they get fired they then turn into that nice red brick colour, so I've tried to use a couple different materials in order to show that. And then the cooperage here, so I've called this one DB Cooperage, of course, it had to be done. Um, so we've got barrels, we've got buckets being made, we've got those kind of butter churners, uh, and they could also make smaller um, kind of anything really to, like cups I guess, uh, to actually uh, contain things. So there we go, we've got that, we've also got the warehouse on the side here. Uh, that we can then fill with goods in one of our Building with Dakar episodes. 
And then finally, we've got your kiln me. So you're killing me. Um, <laughs> it's what I've called the pottery, which I know is a bit silly. Um, but there we go. We've got those two kilns on the side there. We've got the hut, which is got uh, going to be used as their like smaller storage area, and we've got the uh, wheels as well so they can actually turn those and make pottery that way but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode anyway if you have make sure to comment like and subscribe and as always guys i'll see you on the next one